Paul Binks here, and I have an absolute banger for you today. Now, I don't think I've run across a deck very similar to this in a very long time, uh, but we decided to pull this out and we gained 70 cubes and had a 64% win rate over about three and a half hours. Uh, it just couldn't stop winning, and that deck was Move and Groove. Uh, this deck is a move deck, but we're trying to move our opponent's cards instead of ours. And we just have so many amazing lines that we can do with this deck. Uh, so early on, you kind of just want to get your Craven and Kingpin down. Uh, you can also utilize Jeff if you need. Uh, on turns like three and four, we're going to want to be using things like Polaris and Spider-Man. Uh, sometimes you want to play Stegron down on turn four. Uh, just really well-statted cards that can manipulate and kind of annoy our opponent's board. And then there's like kind of three different ways that you can finish off with the deck uh, so you can either play cannonball ghost spider you can play arrow ghost spider or you can play uh, magento on the final turn so there's all these different ways that we can kind of bob and weave and move around uh, displace our opponent cards while, while putting our cards in the right position and if you have you know kingpin and craven down all of those are giving you additional scaling bonuses uh, as well uh, this deck is incredibly good. It takes a little bit of thinking to really make it work, and you usually have to plan about a turn or two turns ahead. Uh, but you will see in the highlights, there were so many games that our opponents were incredibly confident that they were going to win, and then we just come back and absolutely smoke them. So this is an absolute banger. Learn this deck. It, I had some of the most fun I've ever had playing Marvel Snap playing it, and I hope you have a great time. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Check down below. Make sure you subscribe. Catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. Great portal. What do you got for us? A death. I hope I'm playing destroy. That'd be, that'd be wonderful. Okay, Forge almost always means Surfer. Um, let's try and jump the Spider-Man right. That'd be really good for us. Sanctum's probably quite bad for them, right? Let's make a lot of our cards also kind of bad. Sanctum. I don't think they like Sanctum with their deck. Because they want to like brood abs. Like they want to brood this turn, right? Brood just fills up so many lanes. Spider-Man here. Okay. Not expecting them to be a move deck. But they are allowed to be if they, they so choose. Uh, we have Pryo here, so Kingpin will do good to fight off this Vulture a bit. Don't need to use the Ghost Spider just yet. We want to use the Ghost Spider. Getting right as a move deck is not easy. Is there any way they could get right, except for Nico spell? I don't think so. Yeah, that Kingpin coming down in your cloak lane has got to feel bad. Cannot feel very good. The Cannonball stuff can be very annoying for us. Cannonball left. Take a Kunlun buff. We have priority, so their Craven will get our buffs. They play the vision last, so we can arrow it back. Really good. They'll never fulfill left, I don't think. So they think they're going to win with vision right, but then we just pull the vision left. And then we just win middle by a shit ton. And they probably don't Heimdall here. Are you going vision? Get back over here. Water's fine. Ooh. It's gotta hurt. I love this deck, man. This deck is so much fun. Victory. This deck is so much fun, dude. Um, Red Hulk? Oh, it's my Arch Nemesis, the person who uh, pronounces Magento wrong. Hmm. 
Raven and Great Web, huh? Mm, you want Nebula and Great Web? Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. name is specifically attack you it might be but are they a hater or are they a lover we don't we don't know the world may never know as a matter of fact yeah Craven's gonna get so big. Uh, I don't actually don't want the Craven to get any bigger. Then it becomes Shang-Chi bait. Let's get the Miss Marvel right as a joke. Fine, I'll let the Craven get bigger. You insist. I don't think they can ever win left. I'm fairly certain they can never win left. Uh, this Jeff can still move. It's gotten moved several times, but not by its own accord. Dude, you know what's a sneaky play? Look at this. Maybe we lose Baxter building and we cry, but I don't think they're going to go for Baxter building. Rolled. Yeah, Baxter didn't matter because of Monster Metropolis, luckily. The way that movement works is that the physical locations of the cards change immediately. The power is stripped away from those locations. That happens on the first phase of a turn. Then in priority order between you and your opponent and play order and movement order, all of the triggers reveal. So if I go first... All my move triggers will happen before any of their cards flip. So if they play a Craven and I move cards, and then the move triggers happen and then their Craven flips, then it won't work. However, if my opponent reveals and flips their Craven first, even though the cards are look like they're already there, the movement hasn't happened yet, quote unquote. And that's to make up for the fact that you could play cards. Because if the movement happened in priority order, then you'd have cards stacked like five in a row on top of a location. It wouldn't make any damn sense. It'd be very confusing. It's just weird. Ravona, Morbius, Chavez in the same deck. That's weird. That's weird. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you. A weird combination of cards to have. The problem with, with this is that they fill first. It's like if they play two cards left for it, we don't get it. Yeah, that's fine though. Okay, they don't. Now we find ourselves in a tiny conundrum. Just a tiny one. Okay, super giant. Do you play here? Let's just get the deck in middle. And the shop is on the deck and is kind of kind of sick with it. But also, Cannonball Juggernaut this turn. I think that's just better. Then pretty much anything we top deck we can play. I guess Stegron and Arrow not included. They missed their back and trigger, huh? Opponent snapped. What a 
with Snaps. I think we beat them with Magento. They didn't fill left. All they have is Apoc? Or they could play, like... How are they gonna discard one more from Morbius? Blade is crazy. Victory. Top deck blade is so so clutch. You seem hella with their. <laughs> you think they're gonna hella just a Modok? It's pretty bad. Mr. Jeffers had the audacity to armor and Cosmo me when I was playing Destroy, and I'll never forgive them for it. Dare I? Dare I? Surely this won't backfire. No! You can have a Spider Man. Oh, tell me what you tell me what cost you were. I need to know. Why can't you tell me what cost it was? Bitch. It's a disaster! They, they can shuffle into themselves, is the thing. Oh, thank you for the chi, lad. Oh, the pixie was awful. Pixie was horrible, chat. This is what I'm we sure got. everybody's a Binks fan. They're gonna prof us? Probably gonna try and prof us. Do you have a way to not get profed? Not really. Just slam cannonball middle. Move Jeff? Why? I can move Jeff whenever I want. Fine. What can they have that like always beats us? There's no Eliath anymore. Cannonball is a little scary, but we can actually, I think, beat Cannonball. We're probably gonna try Cannonball right. Maybe the Cannonball left though, or middle. We did get a one cost Stegron, that's kind of sick. Can we play around Cannonball middle and right? They wouldn't Cannonball right, right? Cannonball mid right makes most sense. They might Cannonball middle, but that's so, so unlikely to work. They might play Eliath right, but I don't think that works either. Bit is on. Priority flip? Nice. It's a good priority flip. 
Either one we hit is pretty good. I think we take our cannonball right now. If it lands middle, we know that we can't win middle and we circumvent. If it goes left, then we figure out how to win the other lanes. Vision is very likely for the opponent. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. We get both Elsa, Elsa and Hope. We could win with this. We have to hit both Elsa and Hope. Maybe make some kind of Ghost Spider play. Praise. Oh no! Holy. Always hits health and hope. We always win. Wow. What a gamer. Victory. That one looked crazy. Top three kitchen appliances. Um front opening air fryer. Like a little like Basically like a little convection oven is super goaded. Uh, I use one every single day. Dishwasher, sink. I I'm thinking like countertop type appliances. I personally, I'm thinking countertop appliances. Location batching isn't real by the way. Coffee machine? I would say Soda Stream is up there for me now. It used to not be, but God damn, do I love my Soda Stream, man. Should be always winning Nexus games. Wait, this won't move anything. Punisher's three. No, let's play it right. Just cannonball them. Location disruption will get us, but spectrum decks, especially like pool one, two spectrum decks, almost never run it. I am Iron Man. He is Iron Man, by the way. Many people say this. Many people say this about Iron Man. That he is Iron Man. Is a thing that many people say. Thank you for the cubes. It almost went middle. Victory. They almost got middle. It's pretty it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you're behind against the short X, it can be annoying because you just can't really do too much work against them. But once you're ahead, it's uh, it's pretty nasty. Oh, Big Jeff is big. All right. I mean, we're gonna do the same thing that we just did to that last person. So let's just snap. 
We're gonna make their life hell again. Oh wait, they're ahead. Shit. I shouldn't have snapped. I forgot how Mojo World worked. <laughs> I just saw five and six and I thought I was ahead. I might be helping them here. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Now I'm all goofed up. Made the perfect Venom lane. It's pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Enough said, Bob. Oh, come on, X23, come left. Oh, I guess we're not pulling anything. I'm helping them on accident! I keep helping them on accident, chat! I think it has to be this. Loses a lot, unfortunately. That's null middle we lose. It's not null middle we're fine. Victory. Blood's running out of Lyoth, dude. Has Hope joined possibly actually worth 6,000 tokens club? If Hope isn't worth 6,000 tokens, I don't know what the hell is, so... Doesn't Sand Run work as well as Cannonball? Because Cannonball can kill cards. That's that's pretty good. Parker! Hmm. Every dinosaur player. Very interesting. <laughs> Holy! Uh, Promethean Squirrel, thank you so much for the resubscribe with Prime and Valo. Thank you so much for the five community gift. Isn't that going to hit your own card? Okay. <laughs> well, no one sees Kingpin, so it's hard to do. Thank you, thank you for the five gifties. Make sure you get some Nux. Yo, you got Lambie series, Pog. Make sure you get some Nux over to Valo if you just got a, got a sub. Thank you, thank you. You hear nerfs are possibly incoming for Hope? Okay, this dude's got the inside scoop. I just want a double dinosaur of my own. Their double dinosaur looks so so juicy right now. It'll be 13. 13's a lot of points. We can also move it if we want. Roar! This dude refuses to understand how Kingpin works. And I respect him for it. Uh, they might just play Dinosaur to contest mine or something like that. I have Pryo, right? I just pull their Magento right. Jump it left in case they Sean. Move Jeff middle. This should almost... N I cannot... I cannot foresee a possible situation where they beat this. I, I have no clue how they would possibly beat this. I would be so damn impressed if they found a line. I don't even, I don't even think you can concoct one.
Beats everything, man. Victory. Ghost Fighter's so good, dude. Mm, Ravona Renslayer. Stronger cards? Damn. Hmm. Say, are all those in your deck, brother? You're a maniac. Don't hit the void. Okay. You're snapping before you even see my play, huh? Bold strategy, Cotton. Also, they might have no idea what order these are happening in. never win left, so that means we have to win right or middle. They have to win both, which is uh, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Cannon middle? That loses to their cannon middle, I think. If I cannon middle, it moves the sentry right. They cannon middle, move my cannonball right. Then we just lose. Uh, so cannonball middle is not GG easy. They don't run cannonball? I didn't know that you knew this person. Pretty cool. Ooh, Magento to pull the void is quite interesting. Rage. Huge. Nice. Big ones. Victory. That would have mid jug right. Uh, that would have lost. What do you think of Red Guardian? Great card. Um, might not be best in slot top meta deck right now, but there will one. I am one hundred percent confident. If Red Guardian does not get changed, um, and stays how it is, it will be best in slot in certain metas coming up soon. I'm one hundred percent confident about that. Uh, the card is just—it's too good. It is too high of a floor. There will be a meta with like 30% or 24% play rate Dracula, and Red Guardian's just the best card to play. I'm I'm insanely confident about that. I discard. Now Does that mean you should buy it? I mean it just depends on what how you spend your money in the game and, and what that means. But I, I'm very confident that if you, I'm very confident I'm gonna get be playing a lot of Red Guardian coming up. I think the card is very very strong. Its floor is just too high. A very very high floor card. Their hell is going to be really hard to beat. They might just be helling right now. Them playing Black Hat out of hand? I'll tell you what, chat. Them playing Black Hat out of hand makes me think they do not have Hella. I don't think you ever play Black Hat out of hand there if you have Hella. I think I stay in always here. I'm actually very confident. I, w I would be legitimately shocked if they played Hell against me. It had to be a top deck, so it's a one in three. I think they retreat. You're a piece of garbage.
Victory. Very, very important with um, in Snap is is trying to, especially decks like Hella, where you know exactly what they're gonna do. Um, against a deck like Hella, where, where you know exactly what you're gonna do, call your shots like that. Like, why if you're the if imagine if you're the opponent, you never ever in a million years would play this card out of hand if you had hella ready there's no world where you would ever 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 do that there's always a better option right like there's might be one in a million where like you have a discard card that you don't want to play because it would hit hella and you just rather choose where the black hat lands but identifying stuff like that is really important because i feel like a lot of people would have retreated there